have you ever wanted to be an MCC to play with the best players like Dream and Technoblade to get crowns or even just to have fun? Well, in this video, I am going to explain a very reliable way how. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always unsubscribe. Enjoy the video. So I decided to look for information. And the first thing I found was some really great website that had a lot of information on it about playing in MCC and what you need to be able to do it. But it also had a video that actually explained some of the requirements for getting in and how specifically that you could theoretically participate in the event. In the few days following the event, I will post a sign up form to the private discord, which basically anyone in there can sign up to take part in the event and it sort of gauges an interest of who's actually available. Because obviously some people might be busy on the day that we happen to pick for MCC, some people maybe want to miss one. There's tons of different reasons as to why people might not want to participate each event. So if I put in a sign up form, it kind of means that they fill it out rather than me chasing people up. And for a bit more clarity, I'm going to show you what the form looks like. So as you can see here, we have a Google Fips and it's let us know if you want to take part in the next MCC. We will pair people up, then put those teams with people who share a similar goal for the event. Now I will explain later down what that means. So we just basically ask for the basic information like an email and then whether you are available to play in the MCC event. For this form it says 15th of August because that is the most recent event and the two options are yeah I'm hype or I'm interested but I'm not 100% sure. It then just asks for your name or your alias so I could put Scott or I could put S major or dang that's a long name. I am a branding nightmare. Your discord username, your minecraft IGN and the main reason you choose to take part in MCC. And then on top of that you're probably wondering how do new people get invited? Well. That is where my job gets even more difficult. Like I said earlier, when I did the first MCC, I struggled to get 40 people to want to do the event and it was very much a scraping together at the last minute to get people compared to now where I have so many people constantly DMing me or emailing me or getting tweeted at me asking to be part of it. And although that support and interest in the event is amazing, it is very difficult for me to decide who gets to play and who doesn't because for each new person we add to the event, one of the people who are part of the roster already have to miss out. So to try and make it fair, I do tend to limit adding about three new people each event. That has fluctuated to be maybe less in certain events or more than others, but that does tend to be my standard is about three people new each time. With MCC, we have never tried to make the event focused on sub numbers or view counts or anything like that, which does make getting into the event both fair and unfair. It's fair in that we're not giving people a limit to try and get into it or to hold a certain view count otherwise they're out. It's also unfair because I can't give people a set goal to aim towards to take part in the event. MCC has always had creators of varying sizes, some with tens of thousands of viewers and some with tens of viewers and that's what makes MCC really important and special. So what are our key takeaways from this? So my main thing that I want to say is get involved in the community. This is a lot like the Dream SMP. The Dream SMP cares a bit more about your channel size, but he literally said some of the people have tens of viewers. Guess what I have? Tens of viewers. I could theoretically try and get into MCC, and if you want to start your own channel and try, I'm not stopping you.